today we are going to study regression analysis in Excel. Regression is one of the most important topics that we can have or we can perform in Excel. So before going to start the lecture on regression, I would like to request you, this is the playlist in which I have already uploaded 21 lectures. And today we are going to add 22 lecture in this playlist. If you have not studied or checked our previous videos on Excel learning course, then you please go to my playlist and check all of the videos in this playlist. Additionally, I would request you please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. So let's go back to the Excel sheet. We have this data on which we want to apply regression. I would use these two columns for the regression analysis. So the first step is to go to data and data analysis. So you would have this pop-up option and you should select the regression here we have and then click on OK. So here is the options, I mean the dependent and independent variables you have to select. I would select age as independent variable and marks as dependent variable. So after this you can label and constant is zero, confidence level is 95, and output range and new worksheet by the name, what name you want to give to the sheet, where the results of the regression would be shown. I would give it regression sheet, and there are some options you can select and click on OK. So here you have another sheet with the regression. You can study this regression chart or table. So this is how we create regression in Excel sheet. We would cover regression analysis maybe in some lectures in future. In today's lecture, it was just about to tell you how to create or do the function of regression in Excel. One thing I would like to add more that I selected these two columns. You should note that you have to select only those columns which are adjacent to each other. I mean, you cannot select one from here and one from here. This would give a result and you would not be able to select in this way. But if you want to select this one and this column, then you have to delete this column from in between. So I hope this video lecture would add some value in your knowledge. Thank you for watching this video.